Ladies and gentlemen, mesdames et messieurs, mine de et señoras et señoras, welcome back. It is game number one. No, two, no, three, no, four, no. It is game number five here. In this, um, turning out to be quite an entertaining and awesome show match between Nurture and Hasuops for the Dimaga against Hasuops so much. Once again, for those of you who are just tuning in and still wondering why it says Dimaga versus Hasuops, for example, on Team Liquid or on other advertisement pages when actually Nurture is the one playing the answer to this is very simple unfortunately Dimaga was not able to play today so Nurture is his replacement and Nurture asked me to give a shout out to his or her buddy no his buddy I'm not sure if Janelle is a he or is she but there is your shout out um, this is the least I can do for a Nurture who just um, decided, okay, I can be the replacement for Dimaga, and what kind of a replacement he actually is can we see when we take a look at the scoreboard where Nurture is currently in the lead to 3 to 1 over House Ops here spawning as the Red Zook, once again going for a pull first at the 12 o'clock location, meanwhile cross positions here on the ESL, TSL version of the Shattered Temple at the 6 o'clock we have House Ops from Team House Sports as the Yellow Protoss and there we can see his gateway, his simulator. And Shadow Temple it is. Uh, we also had um, other maps like for example Shakura's Plateau still in the map pool. Um, but um, I wanted to actually see um, a, a game on Shadow Temple. And even though it's the choice of the loser, and, and then with Nurture losing the last game, it was actually his choice. Which map is he going for? And he's doing such a good job at just preventing this Nexus from coming up right away. Trying to go for the gas deal, but Hasuops reacting in time, going for the assimilator here before the drone was able to go for the gas deal. And now Probe even kills the drone, so they're very, very good play here by Hasuops. Um, getting up the cybernetic score not too late, preventing the gas deal from happening and taking out the drone. Um, this is what he needs to do. Now, there's the queen at the hatchery. Very good, because queens help you make it more stuff. <laughs> On a more serious note, we can see a, a metabolic boost. The Zirkling speed upgrade is coming up here for Nurture. There we can see his hatchery at the natural expansion. And of course, uh, even though it's not Lost Temple anymore, but now the Shattered Temple, it is still not too hard for a Protoss player to protect himself from... Um, any circling aggression too early in the game. If you actually try to go for something safe like a two gate, um, star gate expand, or a two gate expand, or a three gate expand, you're in quite a good shape. And two gate star gate expand, it is actually is here by Hasu Ops. Uh, why? Many Protoss players nowadays try to go for this 2-gate Stargate expand instead for just, oh yeah, I'm going 3-gate expand because I go 3-gate expand all the time. Um, it is even more safer build than going for a 3-gate expand because uh, with you having out a Void Trace, certainly uh, a possible Roach attack, a Roach Link all-in, becomes not so threatening uh, anymore. And that's why the... Um, Stargate is such a good thing, and also with some Stargate units, maybe Phoenix's Voltroy or even both, you can keep your Zerg opponent busy while you suddenly, oh yeah, I'm going to build a Nexus over here and be happy about it. So, that's why I really, really like this decision by House Ops to go for the 2 gate. Um, Stargate expand. There we can see the first Voidray is already getting Corona boosted. And there's a spine crawler coming up. A second spine crawler is currently getting made. Uh, more lava popping off. More lava getting injected here into the rooftops of those hatcheries. One, two, whoops. One, two, three, four. And now the lair is ruining everything. I have to check this. Oh. One, two, three, four. X soon to be lava. Now, um, Overlord taking out already, uh, Voitre taking out already one Overlord. 
putting a, a nurture actually in a supply block and he just started his next overlord so for the next two ten seconds there will be no U units uh, for nurture on the field of course this is a small victory early in the game there's still another lord overlord over here um, house ops got some phoenixes in production do we see an evolution chamber in the making no nurture think, thinking okay this is not going to be a mass target play no need uh, for any spore crawlers I'm just going to build some extra queens because extra queens not only good against air units uh, you can also just amass transfusions go for any additional creep tumors and stuff that's why I really like the decision to increase the queen count here by nurture who is by the way uh, adding gas number four and the roach run there behind the mineral line we do have the roach run now uh, in the meanwhile, the follow-up play, of course, by House of Ops is the Nexus over here, adding gateway number three, and pretty soon I'm expecting more gateways and even maybe a forge coming up. There is another gateway, of course. You don't want to have those critical tech or structure construction facilities, uh, like, for example, a robo at the front, because sadly, oh yes, some roaches, even though might not be able to do any much damage here in the back at the base where the Nexus and the probes are, but um, they can s easily snipe a robo facility where, for example, an uh, important colossus has been constructed and suddenly boom, it's gone. This is not what you want to have. So that's why, uh, as a Protoss player, I'll only build your not so super duper important buildings here at the front, like gateways and like forges and stuff. Now, I really, really like that Nurture is using his spine crawler over here to do some poking at the destructible rocks. The Impaler Tentacle. Uh, he's doing quite a good amount of damage, it's even uh, 5 more against armored units here, the Voitre in the back tries to do a little bit more damage, he is in total 4 kills right now, but there are suddenly 5 more phoenixes moving in, and boom, with suddenly no um, spore crawler being there right away. Oh, our good friend Honor is lagging out. He's actually uh, the one uh, who is uh, with his Gamers Guild Association providing the prize money. So uh, big thanks to him and his guys for uh, being able uh, to help me uh, set this uh, show match up here. So we still have the background noises of the Voitre in the back. Now, um, we can see on the left side, here is one spore crawler in the making, there is another one soon to be started, and another one in this area. But those spore crawlers, I think they take 25 seconds to finish, so this allows House Ops actually to take out both queens and quite a lot of drones and even some overlords. And remember, yes, those spore crawlers are actually buildings and not units. They still are quite mobile on creep and uh, only take 6 seconds to burrow, but yeah. So now we are able to drop on her in 3, 2, 1, here we go. And queen number 1 is taken out, queen number 2 is taken out right now, he needs to send his overlord, uh, his Voitre, the Vo Voitre lost the charge. And now we have four spore crawlers in the making, if queen number 3 is going to get taken out, queen number 4 as well, so losing a lot of creeps early on is not a good thing. Now he needs to get away with the phoenixes quite fast, he's doing this, and now suddenly because of the fact that there are no queens, um, this Voitre can take out the spawning pool here, but not for long because there's actually all those spore crawlers over there, and Hazelops needs to get out because now suddenly the Spore crawlers can attack the Voitre and the Voitre survives. Now here's some Zerklings in the back taking out those rocks, uh, preparing for a possible counter attack later in the game, of course, it's a good idea. And now House Ops is flying around with his Phoenix, is trying to prevent another expansion from coming up. And um this is what he needs to do, and here suddenly Hero Voitre is instructed, he's instructing those phoenixes to kill stuff. He already killed 10 units himself, and let's take a look at the units lost. He lost one unit. It's a probe, it's what he lost, and he killed stuff 1,400 resources, so that's a good thing. Uh, for House Ops, House Ops is currently the one in the lead in terms of army supply and in terms of harvest assist, I'm not mistaken. Nope. Yes, not anymore, but those guys are tied up at 52, 52 harvesters. Still nurture being on two bases against house ops being on two bases is not does not feel too good. Now there is a spire out, and the spire out means corruptors are coming, and actually there are eight corruptors coming, and eight corruptors will be able to do 
quite a lot of damage now. Hazelops might found a small position where he can take out some more overlords. Takes out one, two overlords, a third overlord is not going to get taken out. But he sees the Corruptors and now he knows, okay, Corruptors are out. He's still on layer tech, so I need to prepare accordingly. And going for Mars Colossi, even though um, he's having the, uh, especially because he's having the robotics bay already out, is not the best idea. So what did he do? He actually decided to go, oh yeah. I don't really care about those corruptors, I just go for some immortals and try to deal with his roaches the other way around now. He wants to go for the Nexus over here. But there are the Zerklings already waiting, so Nurture now knows that he is going to expand over here at the same time he started his expansion, already bringing uh, some spore crawlers in position, which of course is quite a good thing. Hazelops picking up one, two, three Zerklings, so all of those Zerklings are dead. Still units lost, only the one probe compared to the uh, uh, 1850 points we can see. Uh, Tug of War, uh, more yellow means more better for Hasselops, more red means more better for Nurture, to simplify things a little bit. Now, here the Phoenix is moving in once again, he knows, okay, there's a Spore Crawler, he knows there's a Hatchery, and does he see the drones? Now he spots the drones, but he pulls back, because he needs to be afraid of all those Corruptors. Of course, Corruptors having two armor without any upgrades already helps them out quite a bit, especially considering that a Phoenix against uh, non-light units does five damage each attack, so he's having um, a... 40% reduced damage, which is huge. Now, but there are already a lot of immortals, some stalkers on the field, he's getting more immortals, he's got the plus one attack, he's going for the plus one armor, he's getting blink, adding more stalkers, this nexus pretty soon will get finished, already some long distance mining isn't hurting at all, there's a photon cannon, some more gateways in the back, and it looks like House of Ops pretty soon might be able to go for an attack, and when we take a look at the unit counting station, it's just 21 roaches, and that's Basically, it's still he continues to add roaches, but I think this might be a little bit too many immortals, a little bit too many of those sentries, and there are some roaches already getting picked up. The Void Ray got taken out by the Corruptors, a good focus firing here by Nurture, uh, with this pylon on the high ground. Hazelops is able to reinforce quite quickly. Force field's not just put up in time, he lost the probe, still he got this pylon over here, and now he's moving in to the gold, and he needs to be very careful, observer providing detection to take out additional creep turtles. And is Nurture going for a counter attack? Personally, I don't think so. Nurture, uh, Hazelops needs to watch out that he's not getting um, flanked by the remaining units. Phoenix taking some damage, but still taking out some additional overlords. More drones go down here. Some roaches trying to do some damage. Still not doing too much, though. Uh, Corrupt is getting pitched off guard. One Corrupt is going down. The second one, freshly spawned overlords, should be taken out as well. It's not going to happen right now. The plus two attack is coming up. More stock is reinforcing here. And Nurture plays very, very patiently, very, very carefully. But still, uh, always when he tries to engage, he loses one or two units. Now the force field's actually not too good uh, for a hassle up, so he was blocking his own units there for a little bit. But still, Nurture lo loses, continues to lose more stuff. Now, uh, with hassle ups being able to take out more and more of the corruptors of Nurture, he decided, okay, it's time to go Colossi once again. And he just chases down those remaining roaches who don't have Burrow, who don't have the tunneling cloth so they cannot go for um, any burrow movement at all and with the current cannon here of course House Ops is a little bit more safe he can buy himself enough time to warp in some additional units there he is picking up some of those roaches at the same time he's moving in at the natural expansion there are some brute lords in the making but those brute lords compared to the game on Taldarim will not be finished in time Nurture is realizing this GGing out of the game so very very well played by Hasuops with his Stargate units um, preventing a second expansion too early in the game and suddenly with him not going for a forge expand he simply does not allow Nurture to go for mass expanding early on in the game and he can go for some aggression a little bit sooner and this is exactly what won him the game so Hasuops not just yet tying up this series but catching up a little bit more by uh, taking another win and um, he's now up uh, he's now only behind one game with still Nurture being in the lead but not 3 to 1 but now 3 to 2